Hi, my name is Kazuyuki Fujita, an assistant professor at Tohoku University, Japan. I'm honored to present our paper titled Tilt Chair Manipulative Posture Guidance by Actively Inclining the Seat of an Office Chair. This work is also done by Aoi Suzuki, Kazuki Takashima, Kaori Ikematsu, and Yoshifumi Kitamura. Let me begin with the background. A large number of people usually spend most of their days sitting at their desks. Prolonged and static sitting is problematic because it can cause various adverse health outcomes. So it is recommended to decrease or break up sitting duration. One of the solutions is to use sit-stand desks, but the problem is they require the users to consciously use it. In the field of human-computer interaction, there are many studies on correcting or guiding posture. The left one compared the three notification techniques for posture change, and they show there is a trade-off between the effectiveness of posture change and obtrusiveness of the notification. The right one uses the slowly moving monitor that achieves an obtrusive posture guidance. However, with this system, the tasks are limited to where the user is looking at the monitor. So we believe it will be crucial to manipulate effectiveness and obtrusiveness regardless of the user's tasks. In this study, we propose tilt chair, which manipulates posture by actively inclining the seat. As you can see in this video, the seat is inclining very slowly. Since the system controls the inclination angle and its motion speed, it can cover a wide range of contexts. For example, when providing small inclination, the system will weakly motivate minor posture change like this. Here, the inclination becomes steep, which will more forcefully guide the user to stand up. To demonstrate our concept, we implemented a pneumatic inclination mechanism that is an add-on of a normal office chair. The system pumps air into an inflatable component so that the system can control the inclination angle and its motion speed. Using this system, we conducted two experiments to investigate how the inclination affects the user's task performance and overall sitting experience. The both experiments were text typing tasks while we changed the seating conditions of tilt chair. In experiment one, the seat was static and we tested nine different seating angles from zero to 40 degrees. In experiment two, we tested dynamic seating angles, meaning the inclining motion was presented during the task. As shown in the graph, we tested 10 different patterns of motions consisting of two arrival angles and five motion speed in addition to one static seat condition. Let me jump to the result and discussion. Surprisingly, in both experiments, the seating conditions do not negatively affect objective task performances like text input speed and error rate, as long as the users can physically sit down at 0 to 35 degrees. This suggests the chair's potential to change the user's posture even during tasks without loss of task performances. In addition, we obtained results regarding the tilt chair's design guideline. First, we found larger inclination angle led to more difficulty in maintaining posture. Second, larger motion speed led to more noticeable and less acceptable inclination. Third, longer inclination time led to users more fatigue. Based on these findings, we conclude the application of tilt chair can be designed by angle, speed, continuity of inclination. Here is an example of tilt chair's recommended behavior based on the results. When the system detects a specific continuous sitting duration, it's slowly inclining the seat so as not to distract the user. When the system recognizes a more continuous sitting duration or estimates the user can tolerate interruptions, a more forceful inclination can be presented. In the paper, we discuss design space for tilt chairs applications much more extensively, so please see it. As our future work, we would like to first consider linking the desk height to the seat inclination to achieve more natural posture guidance. In addition, we also plan to investigate long-term effect of using our system to see how the habitual behavior changes. Here are the takeaway of this presentation. Thank you for your attention.